Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the rear shock absorber in the Samsung washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a socket wrench with a 13 mm head and extension. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new rear shock absorber. The set of four shock absorbers, two in front and two at the back, supports the weight of the tub and absorbs the vibration during the cycle. If the washer becomes unbalanced during the cycle, check the shock absorbers and replace them if needed. To get to the part, we need to take off this uh, rear access panel. Two Phillips screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, now we can remove this uh, access panel by pushing it up. And then we're going to take out the bottom. I'm going to slide it down and release the top. All right, now we get down on the floor and there are two rear stack absorbers. We're going to show you how to remove the, one of them. The second one would be removed exactly the same way. I'm using a 13 millimeter socket wrench with a long extension. I'm going to place it under the top bolt and I'm going to unscrew it. Also, if you notice, I'm wearing glass for this. And lots of sharp objects around. I'm going to pull out this bolt. Uh, next step, I will be installing the extension on my second wrench. Same head, 13 mils. I'm going to insert it into this opening. And I'm going to reach the bottom bolt. And same, same procedure, I'm going to unscrew it. And I'm going to remove the bolt. This one is much shorter. And now I'm going to pull it out from the bottom socket. And we're going to work it out from the top socket. There you go. This is the old rear shock absorber next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. And start with the top joint. Got to make sure that that's perfectly matching the holes. The three holes needs to be aligned. And I'm going to insert the long bolt in. All right, we can tighten the upper bolt through this hole. Going to lift up on the top slightly. And I can start tightening. Okay, now we're going to install the bottom portion into the joint. Again, we need to align the holes perfect. Then we're going to place the short bolt in. Start it manually, and I can use this uh, socket wrench through the hole. All right, so now we're going to install this uh, panel. I'm going to slide in the top tabs, push it up. And then we're going to install the bottom tabs and push down the panel so the bottom also will lock. And now we can secure the panel 
This is a couple of screws and I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.